Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Fridisvith. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favored saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet? About the arrow and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow Men. Which men? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and it was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then don't. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... But you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It's good to talk. Unburden your soul. Clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. Seen him round my mum's house. <laughs> Thinking. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private, invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye?
I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor, a Norse from the northern wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sia. All right, take your mark. Hook set, arrows north, fire! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Pull yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Ah! Trigger, Avram! Avram! my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by... That's enough! I must come for you! Arrows knocked! It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trap them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true, and it's cold comfort, when glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down, only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready. Expecting the worst. I don't want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broga. The good sister was murdered, and where were your guards? You hear me, okay? Her blood's on you! It's a room! Do something. Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. It's about time you found each other. Stop tiptoeing around it. Yes, I've found Stowe and he's found me. And, uh, and here we are, together. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let's hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let's go over all that's happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother in arms. He wanted Lyndon for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Frieswith. She was the leech, and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It's time we focus on the compass. Gather all we know and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart, squeezed raven ink from a loathsome leech. Now we wait. Wolf tensed for the master of the river rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well, this one's got the gift of all in meat. What's on your mind, Stowe? We know the compass is a sailor, a captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out.
I had a view of the city from the roof. There is a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springwoods at Avgos Guild, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. Let's focus on the compass. Kill him, and the battle's won. I can lead you straight to him. Through the reeds, like Stos Moses. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. I'll see you when it's done, Herr King. Count on it. Follow me. I know the path straight to the docks. We'll be able to flank them. <laughs> Burning. Take this path. You'll avoid most attention. I'll give you cover when I can. Avgos and Frida's we were too confident. I don't suffer the same disease. Look here. Stow and Erkin's lapdog. You've stolen me from so Frankia! this is the compass. Large enough to ford an ocean. Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that's a child's way out. 
To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shit house. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That's enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. Surrender! Please! No more! No more! Help me do it! There you are. The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the rights to wear it now. I am touched, Erke. I'll carry it with pride.
the wind calls me back to Ramni. Best tell her the good news. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack, the scourge of swan roads, the iron throng, the lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter, someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Good edge on you! Christ is surely with us!
I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. I should talk to Hyde. Now, this one. This one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. A place of mist. Day, my love. London is with us and cleansed of the order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. I should talk to Hytham. I want to see the Alliance map. So Jailbert has traveled to Shropshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Jailbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I'll make 
making my way to Shirabshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. The Order has been purged from London, for now they hold no power there. That is good news, and I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problem finding allies here. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the Order. Interesting. Is Gorm here in England? Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence Gorm. Vinland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I'll speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Another one? You are certainly proficient as a token of my deep gratitude. I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go.